What I thought would be a really fun little design study would be to just overlay 2D graphics over 3D graphics. So right now, kind of what I'm doing is I'm just messing around with the uh, curvature tool and I'm just building out like a simple shape for this dirt here. I'm probably gonna be starting these as like outlines with the stroke and then actually turning them into a fill. So I'll connect these over. Now this is like all one connected shape. So we'll group this up. Mm -hmm. So if you go up your window, you go down to 3D materials and you can click inflate and then it'll make it kind of oh. 3D. So there we go. Now we have kind of like this bubbly shape. Now let's move into materials because this is where the magic happens. Here's some sand. Yeah, oh, kind of like sand. a dirt. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Down in the property section, I can darken Change this up color. a little bit. Yeah, and kind of start making it look like actual dirt. Throw this behind that. So oh, it's kind of a little I more. I see, I see. And maybe we can go into the materials. Like this spotted concrete. Oh, so now it looks yeah. more like stone. We're kind of getting there. And I'm just kind of adjusting these properties and I can zoom in pretty oh. detailed, which is nice. So this is kind of like the basis of our 3D. So I'm just gonna kind of go back into the outline sketching, working in the, the curvature tool. I'm just uh, using the cut tool here to kind of cut off these tails. So it looks like we kind of have a nice little <laughs> piece of skin sticking oh. out there. Using the smooth tool under the object path is like, no more excuses to say that I'm a bad drawer. <laughs> you know, like it, it makes no it excuses. so much easier to like, essentially add like, I think the word is fidelity. Yeah, I'm like, it's I'm kind of like, it's cute, right? I mean, right now I'm kind of just doing some of the same, uh, breaking down some of these characters through these outlines. All I'm doing is just taking my illustrations and using the object expand feature just to make them objects. Sure. So the way to boot up Adobe Color is it's all in browser. It's really, really easy. You just want to copy over whatever um, hex code that you're using. In this case, it's this one. And if you go over here and go to Adobe Colors, you'll have this palette generator and you can just go into monochromatic, come down here, click this little change color icon, paste this in, hit enter, and then you have like an nice. array of colors. So what are we thinking? How, how are we feeling about this weird, like, wow. juxtapose, <laughs> like 2D and the 3D? It's weird, right? It's so cool. I kind of like it. Now we can do my oh, favorite part. Nice. I've been like really, really attached to this, to this typeface. So I'm just gonna add like a, a goofy little background. So yeah, we learned a lot about like the aspects of working in 3D, which I think is really cool and kind of doing these really fun mixed media would probably be the right word technique. And thank you guys for watching so much. We'll see you next time. See ya.